What's crack a lack and holy mighty people of the people that's in the place to be? This is Mike Black, Mike the Mac, Mr. Mills coming at you one more time. So look, on my feed, I've been getting twittered and swattered and twattered and whatever else about um, bros. And before I get started, too, don't let me get too far. Shots out. Steve Bremer, he just called me. mf -er, you were supposed to call me freaking five years ago, but I'm glad you whatever. So thank you. Shots out to my best friend, Churchill, man. What's up, baby boy? I, I know you watch these because I can tell who watches these. So don't even front. Oh, smiley ass, nigga. Um, <laughs> what up? Um, lost my train of thought, man. Every time I think of Churchill, I smile. And you know what? That's good because he's the only person I've ever met in my life that when I, well, no, that's a lie. The Maria story. I'll have to do you guys that video. Churchill, he's the only one I ever met in my life make me smile like that. Dude, let's just say dudes. Out of all the freaking millions of dudes I know, outlaws and banditos and citizens, one percenters, three percenters, five percenters, 100 percent citizens, uh, Colleen and them people, you know, they're too sweet for their own good. And Jeff, don't let me forget Jeff. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Of course, shouts out to my mom. Uh, she just gave me a little gift right there. A while back, I don't think I showed you guys, but it's really cute. That's for my little mom. It's just like this one for my little cute mom. Now, that one's just 14 karat gold bands with another ring inside of it. And the ring there is just rubies and diamonds, you know, nothing too heavy. Anyway, um, boy, I had to drop off my kitty today, Thunder Girl, at the vet. And I kind of told a fib, and I don't like to do that because, man... If you lie, especially to me or anyone, you're going to get caught, usually. Second, if you, um, if I, if I lie, I'll probably get caught for sure. And I'm going to tell you how taking the kitty to the vet is going to catch me. Something bad is going to happen to her. I'm not putting that in the universe. Here, universe, please bless her and hold her precious God in Jesus' name. Amen. Um, but I said it was a feral cat so that I could get a cheap spay and neuter job. But I've learned many times in my life, you get what you pay for. Actually, every time I've learned that. So, you know, if you got loot for a big old chest diamond, then you got loot to pay 224 for a spade kitty. But I'm over here building a universe, man. And it is a farm. That's not a fib. And I did find the kitty's mama. And that's where the lie is. I said, I found the kitty on the farm. It's feral. She's not. She's the baby that I raised inside, and I should have told the truth. I was so sad driving home. Because if something happens to that kitty, I will take that vet building apart brick by brick. Oh, please, Jesus, for their sake, let them do their good job. And I'm sure their intellect is sound enough they can complete that task. But I shouldn't fib so that if there's any extra care they take, that when things go wrong, they make sure and institute that. Whereas if something went wrong here, she started to have heart palpitations or heart distress or circadian rhythm distress, they'd be like, oh, well, it's a fair cat and let something happen. <clears throat> so it would still be my fault. I would still blame them fully. Not for quarter cops, obviously, for a sound judgment that would fall on you, like how when, you know, Lot and his wife left the city and God was roasting it from fire, from heaven. He told that girl, don't you look back. He didn't tell her what would happen, but he said not to. And when she did, he turned her into a pillar of salt. For those of you who don't know that story, check out the fate of Lot's life. And it's not my video, that's someone else's. Shots out, whoever did it. Anyway, and I'm not here preaching. I'm just saying I told a fib and I... I, will, I should never, ever lie again, but it's so hard. Even the little things, and especially with concerning money. So this is a quick video to y'all, and hopefully not a hell of a lesson for me. Just don't lie, man. The truth is so easy. That's what I told memes and all the kids. And Lori, Junior's mom, I don't think I've ever put Lori on here. Lori's a good girl. She That's the only thing she did do was lie. She didn't do nothing else. Well, there was a few things, but I'm not going to mention those here. But I do know this, girls, if you wear pads, don't just flip them out on the floor and your dude has to step through that stuff trying to go to the potty or something. I was just like, what? I mean, really? Nobody, boy, memes with that stuff, boy, you would never even know what happened. 
And if I had to get at her during that little season, it didn't even matter. Still just Kool-Aid. You drink the Kool-Aid. <laughs> I'm so bad. Hey, she was the girl God gave me, so once it's mine, it's, I'm having it. Yeah, the Maria story. I'll have to do that video, too. That's one I left out of there, but I'm sure going to drop that bitch like a dime before I die. And when I say drop a dime, that don't mean snitching like you guys seen in the movie Belly when, when the dude says, I'm going to have to drop a dime on that nigga. You know, because he was mad because my boy, my boy Cheddar was, was flossing on his ass. If you guys don't have a chance, watch that movie Belly, B-E-L-L-Y. It's with DMX, who I always wasn't really a fan of little tiny mouthy dudes. You know, I'm a big fella. Oh, yeah, don't like it. Shots out. Who else shots out to? I would have said Steve, but that's a dead campaign. He fucked that all the way up. You're going to sit in my driveway for five hours and demand 500 bucks. And when I sit in your yard for 10, I'm out of pocket demanding 300, 275, whatever it was that day for that engine. And we had 10 engines. I threw that big block like it was a piece of friggin' dirt. But you didn't, whatever. So it's all good. Yeah, so fuck Steve. Who else? I guess Chintzy. What's up? Shouts out to Chintzy. Anybody know old Chintz? If you deal with Rick at um, whatever that is in Washington County, something, something cycle shop out there, that big universe he created, he took a field like mine and filled it with every $10 or free ass giveaway motorcycle you can imagine. And now if you call that guy, Dodge County Cycle, that's what it's called, Rick. But his real name's Chintzy. At least that's what the fellas always call them. So, yeah. Anyway, don't you guys fib. It's not cool. And it will bite you in your ass. Plus, truth is so easy. But in this case, it wouldn't have been. It would have been 25 bucks versus 245 or something. I don't know. And I know this is going to sound shitty. I shouldn't swear. Sorry. Forgive me. But I ain't got 275 right this second to spend on a kitty. That's another motorcycle or a transmission or something. It's something that I'll make three grand out of. If I spend 275, everyone who knows me, you know I'm making me some racks. You motherfuckers seen me on first three, balling till I fell. Ain't no falling this time, motherfuckers. Mike Black, Mike the Mac, Mr. Mills, definitely not inside of any building. 